<laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm recording. Okay. Remind me in the camera for footage. Um, you you said he's kind of timid. Very timid. Very timid. Uh, tell me a little bit, just a real quick, like, hey, Dee Dee, this is you know what we've got going on. Dee Dee, this is our first grooming. Okay. Um, Percy is a rescue. We've had him for almost a month. He's about seven months old, and he's very, very shy and very timid. And it, he seems to be uh, coming out of his shell, but and he nips play-wise, but he has never bitten, and he's just a little sweetheart. So. And so you found me from. I found you on YouTube, and I've been watching your videos. Okay. And I just wanted a good groomer somebody that looked like they knew what they were doing and would be gentle and every on every one of your videos you just seem to take charge and be gentle and and that's what I but want. still be a leader you are a leader yeah okay and that's what you liked yes perfect because yes. I, I know you drove far yes, you know did. and you were willing to wait for me yes, so uh, I really appreciate that yeah. and um, I hope that what we do today was it will be really cool it'll be yeah. a first time groom and we're gonna do it over the phone right yeah. you guys are gonna get some Looking special service yeah. um, we'll see how he does together right. on the spot right, right? Yes. Um, haircut wise uh -huh. uh, what are you thinking uh, I guess he's been groomed, it looks like, at least once. I can't really tell. Okay. You know that better than I would. So, a lot shorter. Now, he was combed. I combed him last night. Okay. Before. And you kind of combing. We had, a, like, an hour talk the other day. Yes, you're, we did. You're brushing, combing. I told you to do what? Exercising, Exercising right? Exercising twice a day, 30 minutes a day. How's that been going? Uh, well, the weather's been kind of inclement at okay. our house. So, we didn't do every day for 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, twice. But okay. We've tried. Okay. And uh, he loves to go on his walks now. Does he? Oh, probably last week he was just scared to death. Now, he does have a habit of stopping at every sidewalk that goes up to the house. <laughs> Thinking to it's... make sure it's not his and he's ready to go home. <laughs> but he does he get uh, happy when you get he the gets... leash and everything? He's no, like, no, not, not yet. yet, not no, yet. Okay. He, he's, he's, he's very calm. He doesn't really show excitement. Oh. Often, not with a leash yet, and even when we ask him if he needs to go potty, he's... Really? Yeah. Can't tell? No, can't tell anything. Can't tell. He doesn't... He doesn't not want to go out when we take him, but he doesn't really show excitement emotion-wise. Okay. Yet. So when's the next time you want to come in for grooming? So I know, I mean, it is chilly, Probably but we're, listen, months. listen, we're, okay. it's chilly, but it's going to be 60 in a couple of days, they said, right? Yeah. So yeah. I don't, if you're going to do a couple months, I don't want to do a too short or too long, but I also want, you know, want to do a haircut because you're paying for a haircut. Definitely. And he can't, he's beginning to have uh, problems with his fur growing in his face. Okay. Okay. His eyes, so he can't really see very okay. well and I don't want it. You can cut that short. I don't okay. Want that to, you okay. Know. Perfect. Now, it, did he come from a puppy mill scenario, or he came from a puppy mill? He was rescued by him uh, as a puppy. As you a, know, as a, I think he was four months old. He was about five months old, I think. She said when they from a puppy him. mill, born in a puppy in a mill. And what, what about the cage? He had been in a, the lower of like three cages all the time with other dogs pooping and peeing on him. And wow. I guess that's the only life he knew until right. he went to live with the rescue organization. Well, we have some rehabilitating to do, right? And uh, it'll just take a little bit of time, but yeah. um, I think we can press forward. And oh, yeah. we talked a lot about that to yeah. just don't let, help him create those habits he's used right. to. Right. And how's it going? Is shutting things, shutting rooms off or whatnot? Well, we we kept him close to in the bathroom where he stayed off of our bedroom the first couple of days. He wanted to stay there. We let him get used to that space, and then we moved him into uh, our bedroom. Um, he knows that's his safe spot. Um, he has a bed under our bed, so he still will gravitate under furniture. Mm -hmm but we mostly pull him out okay. and he stays with us. Okay. And, and now he's got somebody you all every day, yes, right? Yes, we're with him every day, all day long. Awesome. And 
Randy's even started teach trying to teach him tricks. Nice. So, yes. Well, that well, give nice him tricks, commands. Basic, basic. Sure, yeah. sure. Sit. Well, something to, to direct him, yep. like you know, and that's great work between the adult and the uh, dog as yep. well. So that's great. And we have a cat that's learning to get to know him too. And he's okay. Very good with the he, he really he and... wants to play oh but he stays away from her because he he can tell she's not happy right him. right but I don't, he's just coming right along i think pretty rapidly really compared to when we brought him home he didn't want to do anything he right came out of the bedroom on his own in only 30 were... days now right <laughs> not less than 30 that. less than 30 that. so he came out of the bedroom on his own yeah yeah, yeah. And because we were in another room, and he was looking for us. You, and and then that's a little bit of a challenge. Like yeah. he's he's like, well, if I can, if I don't leave the room, I don't get to be with them. Exactly. So you set that up for him, right? Yeah, and he yeah. does want to be with us. And we had some work done cool. in the house, so the three, the four of us, including the cat, stayed in our bedroom while they were doing a lot of the work on our house. And okay. It was very noisy, and he came through it just great. We were there with him. He wasn't really nervous. And we've taken him on several car rides. This is probably his fourth or fifth car ride. And he really loves the car. Right, and so great. looking out the window. Oh, that's good. And uh, he's doing really well so All right. Far. Well, all right, I'm going to take him from here. Okay. I'm going to actually take off his coat and leave the coat with you. Okay. So you know that that's, you know, clean and everything like that. Okay. And his harness are... I'm not sure. I want to see what you got going on here. He will run. He yep, will, gotcha, he, gotcha. It's good to know. I'll make a file note for that. We don't want to lose him. I have a booker myself. Hey, yeah, we'll leave the harness with you. There you go. Hi. Oh, I know. It's so nervous, right? It's so nervous. You don't like that? Okay, no. I'll be worried. I'll, I'll be leery. It's okay. Okay. Okay, give we'll me his see, butt first. We'll so, see you in a few minutes, okay? And we have good energy here, good we'll energy. See you in a few minutes. Hey, yeah. What's this? Let's give that to mom. And then we'll do it in a second. I'm going to call you. Okay. And then it's best to have the... Um... Come here. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Come here. You're okay. You're okay, bud. You're okay. I know you don't want to walk with me, but you have to. Okay, we got to have some kind of introduction, huh? Yeah, we got to have some kind of introduction, yeah? Huh? Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Percy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. 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 You have to walk with me, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, this is Percy. He's a Schnauzer Maltese mix. He's about seven months old, and the pet parents have owned him now for about one month. He was rescued from a puppy mill. So he's in recovery, and we're working with him. They were really specific in wanting Dee Dee Croy with my favorite groomer to groom this dog. So they waited, and they drove far. Let's get started. 
The pet parent booked a special session with me and the dog. They also wanted to be on FaceTime during the entire groom. So here we go. We have booked that for her. If you would like to book a groom like that, please give me a call or email me. You can find more information at myfavoritegroomer.com. We're FaceTiming. Hey. Hi there. Look. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it sideways. Hold on. Let me see what this does for you. Oh, that, that's good. Okay, hold on. Let me put you on my uh, tripod. How are we looking? Oh, he's adorable. Okay. He's curious. So I walked him around a little bit on that leash. I'm going to let you have the leash. I need you to work for the fir for 30 days, work on the leash around the neck. Okay. Okay, it is different. Yeah. It's a leadership versus comfort. So for 30 days, he did not want, he argued, jumped around, and did all that stuff that I see Maltese's do a lot. So yeah. it's, a, it's a simple lead. It's just a... You do both. If you're afraid he's going to get away, have the harness on and have that, but hold both. But okay. you want, you want to lead with the one around the neck for 30 days. Okay. okay. You set okay. the pattern now and it will not, it will, it will change the rest of his life in my opinion. Okay. Okay. So when I put this on, he's not going to freak out this thing, right. this groom okay. loop. Okay. Okay. Cause he's strong now. He's young. As he gets older, hey, if we want to use the harness 100% time, he has collapsed trachea because a Maltese sometimes gets that. Then I'll do the loop around his body, but we'll see how he does. I don't know how he'll do on a groom, but on a walk, that might lead us into a really great leadership zone if you do the lead around the neck for a little while. Okay? Got it. Um, okay. But let's see how he does. This is our first groom and experience together, so you never know. He might do 100%, and I'm like, it doesn't even matter. Okay, here we okay. go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is brush him out. And, um, oh, I, I forgot to, like I told you, I try to have a plan, but it doesn't work out. So I, I'm giving you um, a little bit of shampoo, but I'm giving you this gift bottle. And it, and it has this same spray I'm going to use now. It's called the Stuff Leave-In Conditioner. And see, okay. before I brush any dog, I try to do a little bit of that or at least some water in the coat. Just a tiny bit. Okay. And you'll see as I do it now. So I'm going to brush him because it's kind of dry. It's cold, right? So it's kind of dry out. So that gives the hair a lot of static and dryness. But the um, this is what I'm going to do first. So we'll brush him first. Okay. What's that? I'm going to put that there so you can look at it and smell it. So I've got my leave-in conditioner. And I got you the only red bottle I have. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Uh, here we go. I'm doing just a light squirt here. And you said you combed them, but I just want to go through it all because what the haircut I'm going to give them is going to be with the guard, and the guard will not go through hair that has any knots. So we want to make sure that we get him sprayed up here. Oh, you don't like that? Here, smell. Okay. All right. It's easy stuff. Easy. All right. Here we go. Let's brush. I like to start brushing from the rear end forward. So here we go. Stand up. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing's happening yet. <laughs> You're all right. What's this? Hmm. Make that loud noise there like that. You got to get him used to it. You can't feel sorry for him. Okay? Right. Yeah. What's that? That's a brush. Can you smell? Want to smell? Hmm. Okay, watch your nose. It's a brush. We're going to brush you. Okay? Okay. You're doing good. Tall. He's tall, isn't he? Yes. He's got long legs. That's a schnauzer, but he doesn't have any, like, what, maybe, like, two pieces of black hair there, silver hair. Right. When I get the comb out, he tries to take the comb away from me. Okay. Do you let him? Not really. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I let him try, and I say, no, we're going to comb you. See, check with the comb, looking good. I want to make sure there's no tangles here. I smell, I see and smell anal glands. I mean, he was really nervous. Yeah. 
So do that leash walking, okay, around the neck. Right. Can you see the difference between if you just comb, right, versus if you brush? So yeah. you're get so you're getting a brush today. It's paused. Yeah, calls coming in, uh, and I have it on Do Not Disturb. You're okay. You're okay. You you did that to yourself. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> you did that to yourself, and it's okay. That's why I, for some reason, decided to put you on the wall. Okay, stand up. So he's got this. Uh, anything new is gonna worry me, and I and I have a dog like that, so I am very familiar. The other day, she was sniffing something on the floor, and then I sat up on the couch, and she freaked out. I mean, she's 11, okay? They act sometimes maybe don't grow out of it. They just get more comfortable. Right. And she is a rescue, too. That's faith. Um, but, yeah, so you're getting the brush today. You can see right away, right? What, watch when we're all the way done. You'll be like, well, wow. What well, after I comb him, he's real fluffy, but then it kind of goes into that. It looks matted, but it, it isn't because I can comb right through it. Right. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Well, he's not matted. You're doing great. He's not like, I didn't think he was matted, but you're doing really good with your but comb. it looks like he is. Right. It's got that curl and it's just straight. It's not really like, um, I don't know. I, I know what you're saying. I have to, have to think of a word for it. It's like the waves come out. And after a little while, it kind of waves back to itself. He's being pretty good. Yeah, he is. Don't tell him that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a little leery though. It's almost like I feel like he's holding his breath and waiting for it. Like, what is going to happen? But you're right. Like, when you say he might not have any uh, response. Yeah, he's. He, we'll see how he does. I've turned to. Um, this will be interesting if I get those clippers out. You, you know this, right? Well, I've turned my clippers on and run them and rubbed it up against his face okay. and his body. Uh-huh. How often? I've done it twice. Okay. We'll see how he does. I wanted him to get accustomed to the That's noise. true. Yeah, that's true. Very, that's a very good uh, tactic. So far, he's not behaving at all like a Maltese. <laughs> I guess that's good. That's very good. Oh, gosh. You're okay. You're okay. I'm going to turn you a little bit here. Here you go. The first vet report said he was a poodle and a schnauzer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The next vet said he was a schnauzer Maltese. But the poodle, so, the poo, so the so this will be good to know, like the fact. But I wonder where the first folks got it because if he got picked up at a puppy mill, you would think that they knew who they were breeding there. Exactly, and the first vet was from uh, was the puppy mill owner's vet. So yeah, you would think that they would know, but let me. I guess you don't know one hundred percent. You really don't sometimes with these puppy mills because accidents happen. Right does make you wonder. So we'll know, huh? I can't wait. That's pretty cool. Well, that's the difference between, say, a DNA test and not. I think if you're going to spend 150, you might as well spend 180 and get all the, the, health, the health behind it, too. white you know he just kind of got that cream color since he came to look to our really yeah uh, 
So I don't want to speak too soon, but um, I've had dogs, you know, a lot of dogs. And sometimes as they get older, he might even start to turn brown on you. Right. And it might take, well, he might be eight years old and all of a sudden he's pure brown. <laughs> Man, we're not even starting the haircut yet, Dee Dee. Come on now. If this is your first groom, I hate to tell you, um, I've set I've set myself up for failure because <laughs> if you go somewhere else, I, I, I'd love you to call three other groomers and see if they'll do a FaceTime. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love that. You're going to get no real quick, I think. They're going to think, what the hell are you talking about? What? I'm not, what? <laughs> I'm, amazed. I'm amazed at how still he's being. He's doing you? great. He's doing yeah. really good. Let me see. i got to get in there. You do have a little bit of snouts or muzzle here, though. Yeah, that brush is going to do you real, so real good. That brush is really going to do you good. Good. You're going to see. But you see how I brushed him, right? Yeah, I've been watching. And, if, yeah. and I'm, I can tell, but if you want to go through and double check with your comb, at brush, comb, brush, comb, and you can see if you are not getting all of it, you need to stay in that place. And so you feather the hair up and down and feather it up, brush down, hit, feather it up, brush down, and keep doing it until you're all the way. Right. I like to say, touch every hair on the body. Yeah. Percy, you're being so good. What a good Hi. boy. Hi. Let me cover that eye a little bit and get in here. Yeah, look at those pretty eyes. Yeah. We'll get used can to he, this. Dee Dee, can he hear me? Yes. Yes, okay. but through a phone, there's different monos that they're not going to hear. Oh, okay. I had David, my partner, my Dave, he was talking through the phone to talk to my dogs, Saki and Faith, and they weren't reacting at all. But I want to say when I was in the military and back in the day and I would call on the landline and talk to them, they would know and hear my voice. So I feel like, I feel like you could Google it. I feel like something happened as we got into cell phones Yeah. that they honestly can't hear like maybe pitches. And so they don't know that that's maybe you exactly. Okay. But if he, if, if David gets on the phone, my dogs do not react. Like they don't even, and, and I, I can't say that I can notice that they, you know what I mean? Even with myself now on a cell phone. You're right. Okay. Let me get this side. Up, 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 up. You're okay. Let me come this way. Let me see. Good. Let me see. Good boy. Good boy. Good Percy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, oh, hold on. You don't like me holding your mouth? It's okay. It's okay. I'm just making you look up. Uh, uh, uh. You're good. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. You're a good boy. I know. Just give us, this is just our first time. Imagine like our tenth time. Fifth time. Yeah. You'll know my voice and everything then. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna get started. Okay. What I think I might do is just for the sake of um, not stressing him right away to go against his body with the clipper, I'm actually gonna do his feet only. 